So we've got a DAF LF Euro 5 to have a look at today. Uh, ignitions warning light on the dash. Don't know what's going on with it, but we'll get Jaltes plugged in and see what's going on. This has to be the cleanest Euro 5 DAF LF I've ever seen. Look at it. Anyway, so on the dash we've got just this warning light. So we'll just get Jaltes from Eclipse Diagnostics plugged in now and we'll see what's going on. So we've got our powers, grounds and can on the old pass-through pin checker now. We should be good to communicate with this truck. So we've got a active fault here for AdBlue DEF dosing module. We've got a couple of other things here. There's no can communication. Communication issue with the knock sensor. Unexpected or improbable value. Again, AdBlue dosing module. So there's a lot of problems here with the AdBlue dosing module. So what I think we'll do is we'll try and run a test with the AdBlue dosing module, see if it's dosing AdBlue, and uh, we'll go from there. So we'll come out of this, we'll go to system checks, AdBlue dosing and metering, and we'll do a metering test. So seeing as the system requirements is that it has seven bar of air pressure, we better build the air up in this. Well, there's plenty of air in that now. We'll uh, pop under the truck and uh, pull this pipe off the injector, I think. Ugh. As you can see, uh, someone's already fitted a new uh, injector to this, and apparently it is clear, but we just want to see what comes out the pipe. So we'll run this test now, see what happens. So as you can see from the test, it's not really dosing AdBlue, is it? There's nothing else we can do. It should be supplying air to the system and it should be supplying AdBlue to the system. And both of them things aren't really happening at the pump. So as far as I'm concerned, this needs an AdBlue dosing module now. So we'll whip one out the van, get this changed over. So while I've got the hands-free kit fitting the AdBlue pump, I'll just tell you a bit about this system and what differs to it from Euro 6, really. So this is our old pump here, and this is our new pump. This is a Emitech pump, as you can read here. Obviously our cheapo brand doesn't have Emitech written on it, but it still functions the same. And for the price, you can't grumble as long as it's functional. Now, Euro 5 DAF LF used air, which is this solenoid here, to supply air to the AdBlue pump, but it also used AdBlue in and out. Obviously this pipe here is our feed to the injector, where we get air and AdBlue pushing the AdBlue through to the injector. Euro 6, on the other hand, just has an electronic injector and AdBlue pressure. Now, this doesn't run at nine bar like a Euro 6 pump, which is just pure pressure and an electronic injector. This uses, like I say, air and add blue to pump it through to the exhaust and that's why this system is inferior to euro 6. so this is our new pump we'll pull all these off here we've got all our connections that have terminated here we'll get them all pushed in here and pushed on it's it's idiot proof we'll bolt it up and see how we get on so which one do, this one? i'd go with the air pipe first. no don't go with the air pipe first it's pretty crap doing it that way you put on what you want to put on but the air pipe will be the shortest. So this is for this. Yep, you can go with that. Just doesn't give you a lot of leverage. Now that's fitted, we'll start this up, build the air up, and jump back on gel test. So what we'll do now is we'll carry out our blue metering test. We'll accept the conditions here. Which is up to seven bar. We've got engine idle speed at 712 RPM. Let's see what happens now. Well, this sounds good to me. Seen on the truck, that's definitely dosing and blue and air out of the pump now. So the fault was definitely the pump. Unfortunately, we couldn't repair it, but for the price of these spurious units, and they do work, what's the point in even fixing it? So. We'll cancel this test now. So now we've just come out of that test, we'll hop into our fault code reading. As you can see now, all our faults are actually inactive. So we've rectified the customer's defect. The truck's working as it should be. We can clear these faults. This will get rid of his emissions warning light on the dash and off he goes. Look at that. It's 
still got it. <laughs> so we've got a DAF LF to have a look at today. Euro 6, reportedly pressurising the coolant system. But is it the EGR cooler or is it the head gasket? Let's find out. So we'll just get this started up to confirm the customer's concern. We'll turn that off. So let's have a look in here, see what's going on. Not a lot. Can you see the water levels coming up now? Yes, you shouldn't be doing that straight away. So as you could see, the coolant level was rising rather rapidly in the header tank. So what we'll do now is throw the cab over, pressurise the coolant system and see if it's coming out the EGR cooler first. So as you can see, the customer's already bypassed the compressor head and he's still having issues, which is why I'm here basically. So what we'll do now is we'll just remove this pipe from here and then we can pressurise the coolant system and see if there's any water coming out of this pipe because obviously this is our inlet and our outlet for the coolant system for the EGR cooler. It doesn't look wet in there. It looks blocked but it doesn't look wet. So we'll just pressurise this now. So we've got a bar in there. Now if this was the EGR cooler, I'd be expecting water to be coming out of here. It's bone dry, isn't it? Absolutely bone dry. So, looks like the head gasket. We'll put this back together and test the coolant system for the presence of NOx. Guess who's got two thumbs and will be doing a head gasket later in the week? This guy. Well, this was a short video, wasn't it, Russell? Yes, it was, because due to technical difficulties, I'm an idiot and I can't record a screen on gel test anymore, which is why you never got any of the dosing tests on the LF for Euro 5 AdBlue. Anyway, I've got a little project on the go, and that's why I've been a bit quiet, but I will let you in on the secret soon. As always, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up as it really helps the channel. If you're not subscribed, why not? Please do, and I'll catch you next time. <laughs>